everybody, it's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again. Today, these are the honorable mentions that we're going to look at from my countdown of 2021. But before we get into that, sub up to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and also drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are on the countdown that we're going to take a look at. If you want to interact with me further than here on YouTube, there's a list of my socials down below in the description box and also the, friend, the I'm sorry the family vibes discord group I'm in there as well any additional information on the family vibes discord group the link is down in the description box and if you have any questions you can inbox me or inbox the uh, Instagram page now let's get into it we have a few sneakers that didn't make the countdown but I narrowed it down to a handful and I just wanted to show them to you. Let's start off with one. This It's an OG, but it was a big, uh, a big situation with these. They were this color. Let's just bring them out. Air Jordan 6 carbines. Yes. When these dropped on Valentine's weekend last year, Pink on the bottom of some of them. So when I was picking up my pair, shout out to the ATL with these drop. I was in ATL and I was able to pick up multiple pairs in the ATL. I went to like two different malls in the city here. Uh, I do remember seeing one of the football players for the Falcons there. I don't recall his name. But he was, you know, getting his stun on Valley Park and at the mall. But this is one pair that didn't make the top 15, but it did make my honorable mention, the Air Jordan 6 Carmine. Another sneaker that made the uh, honorable mentions, uh, Nike has this day once a year on March 26th called Air Max Day. This is a pair of Air Max. A couple of my friends that really are Air Max heads day. They're getting more into Air Max than I am, and they spend all day doing the different events on the Nike sneakers app. And when these actually dropped, they struck out. And me personally, I went to work, came home, took a nap, ate a little lunch, woke up, and when these dropped, I hit. We talking about the evolution of Icon Air Max ones. These are two totally different sneakers. This is the left. Here at the back on the left, it says Air Max date. It has the date actually March the 26th, 326. There you go. That side looks underneath. Yes, I have worn these. And we do have the right. This was a nice shoe. I was happy I hit this for retail, but the evolution of Icon Air Max 1 is another Air Max, or another sneaker, I should say, that made the honorable mentions list. We have another sneaker that uh, made the list. It's a very popular silhouette right now, still tell its day. I believe the resale on this sneaker is pretty high. We have the UNC Donk Low. Still haven't worn it yet, but I remember when I hit, I was actually out of town on vacation in Destin, Florida. And we were uh, pulling up to the pancakery. I was going to eat me some breakfast. I'm a breakfast head. I got to have that breakfast, y'all. Man, put them fire emojis in them comments if y'all be on that breakfast. I got to get that breakfast. Starts the day all right. But the UNC one low, nice material on here. And I'm gonna, uh, I almost wore these the other day. But, uh, I elected to go with a different sneaker, but it also made my honorable mentions this the Nike Donk Low UNC. This next sneaker I'm about to show you guys that made my honorable mention this is like a triple double in basketball. We have this is a triple collab, guys. Very clean sneaker, didn't see it 
in a lot of people's top 10 countdown last year. Didn't make my top 15 either, but it is a nice sneaker nonetheless. I'm talking about this. Yes, I'm talking about the Nike Sakai Fragment LD Waffle in the gray colorway. It also came out in the navy colorway as well. I elected not to get that navy uh, colorway. I didn't need both. But this is a nice sneaker nonetheless. And I put these feet to ground. Not too often we get a triple collab. And we get to um, get them at a good rate. This sneaker almost got damaged in Hurricane Ida. I just got the sneaker. I had it sitting on my table ready to do the review. Still in the shoe box. And when I came back to the shoe box, it was, it was wet, wet. Kept the shoe dry. Still smelled good. Kept it dry. The shoe wasn't damaged. However, I had to get rid of the box. So I didn't want to do a review without the actual box. So that's why I don't have a review on my channel for this shoe. And this is the Sakai Fragment LD Waffle by Nike in the gray colorway. Representing for my honorable mention list. Okay, the next sneaker is an iconic silhouette, but it's also a collab. We're gonna get into it. This was the first of its kind to my memory. I ain't never seen anything like it before, but it's almost like having a sunroof in sneakers. We talking about the Air Max 1 Clot Kiss of Death. This sneaker has a few different materials on it. We have like a, a snake skin print on the swoosh. We have like ostrich print going around your ankle collar. We have that clock logo right here in the back. And yes, the toe is translucent. You see the insert, all kind of Japan, uh, I'm sorry, Japanese writing on there. And you can see the tongue and you have the clock logo on here. I did do a review on these. These are nice and then look at the bottom. But this is a nice sneaker. I need to wear this. But you know, when we step out the sneakers, gotta make sure our fit is right. So I got that fit. I got it right. I just gotta uh, wait until it gets warm again. And living in Louisiana, I don't have to wait too long because it's about to be Christmas and it's still hot down here. But another sneaker on my honorable mention is the Air Max 1 Clyde Kiss of Death. It's another collab. We just gonna bring it out. We have the Nike Don't Glow. Excuse me, Nike Don't Glow, the power or the power. Not sure how y'all pronounce it, but I'm just gonna say the power. It's an SB, you got that fat tongue. There you go, they did have merch to come along with this. This is a nice sneaker. I don't, I don't recall doing a review on it. I may have, but I don't think I did a review on these. But, uh, these are nice. I'm definitely ready to put these on. This is a nice sneaker, the power of uh, Don't Glow. And I believe the material on your overlays and your mud guard, I believe you can cut this off and it lies another color underneath, but I'm going to keep it like this because I really love this pattern and if it wears away, it just wears away. But this is the last sneaker on my album mention, the Nike SB Don't Glow Power. And that concludes my album mentions. And Tune in for the rest of the countdown, and like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, excuse me, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack signing out.